Hello dear learners, today we are going to talk about MCQs on pharmaceutical chemistry, the chapter sulfonamides, part 1. From the MCQs, first question is, combination of sulfonamide with trimethoprim, the options are, Is, first option is they will decrease the effect of sulfonamide or they will increase the antimicrobial activity of sulfonamides or they will decrease the antimicrobial activity or increase the elimination of increase the elimination of sulfonamide so among these the correct answer is they will increase the antimicrobial activity whatever the activity is shown by uh, sulfonamides they will they will increase that antimicrobial activity with the combination drug next question is trimethoprim acts by dash in bacteria trimethoprim and sulfamethoxazole the combination is cotrimoxazole since sulfamethoxazole is a sulfonamide it will inhibit dhfs and since trimethoprim is working on the next step of DHFA to THFA conversion with the help of DHFR, so it will inhibit that DHFR enzyme that is dihydrofolate reductase. Inhibiting protein, inhibiting cell wall, inhibiting cell membrane is not possible since it acts on the enzyme dihydrofolate reductase. Next question is, unwanted effect of sulfonamide is anaphylactic shock, peripheral neuritis, crystal urea, black water fever. The correct answer is crystal urea because sulfonamides, when the patient is on sulfonamide therapy, physicians uh, recommend the patients to have a water to prevent the formation of crystal urea. Crystal urea, as you of know, it is calcium which are formed and when the patient is taking plenty of water this crystal urea formation will get prevented and in some cases physicians may prescribe alkaline drugs also along with the plenty of water recommendation to prevent the formation of crystal urea next question is Sulfonamide used in eye infection is dash. The options are sulfamethoxazole, sulfadiazine, sulfadimethoxine and sulfacetamide. The correct answer is sulfacetamide sodium. Because according to the classification of sulfonamide, sulfonamides which are classified based on the uses, in uh, from that sulfacetamide is used in treatment of eye infection. Next question is, sulfonamides used in treatment of burn infection is what? Whether it is sulfamethoxazole, whether it is sulfadiazine, whether it is silver sulfadiazine, whether it is sulfacetamide. The correct answer is, it is silver sulfadiazine. Both are correct, sulfadiazine, but silver sulfadiazine is commonly, means the commonly known uh, name is silver sulfadiazine. Next question is, sulfonamides used in treatment of intestinal infection so again from the classification of sulfonamide based on that classification the correct answer is sulfaguanidine because sulfamethoxazole sulfadiazine sulfacetamide diazine is used in bone cetamide is used in eye infection so sulfaguanidine sulfamethoxazole is a short acting drug long acting drug or short to intermediate acting drug or mixed acting drug the correct answer is according to the classification of sulfonamides sulfamethoxazole is short to intermediate acting drug next question is cotrimoxazole is the combination of what means cotrimoxazole contains combination of which drugs so as the name suggests you can see here 
ट्राय मीन्स ट्राय मिथोप्रीम मॉक्सोल मीन्स मिथॉक्सोल नाव ऑप्शन आर ट्राय मिथोप्रीम एंड सल्फा मिथॉक्सोल ट्राय मिथोप्रीम एंड सल्फा डायजीन ट्राय मिथोप्रीम एंड मेपिडीन एंड पायरी मिथामाइन एंड सल्फा डायजीन द करेक्ट आंसर इज ट्राय फॉर ट्राय मिथोप्रीम मॉक्सोल फॉर सल्फा मिथॉक्सोल नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज टू फेमस ब्रांड नेम्स ऑफ को ट्राइमोक्सोजोल आर और दे मे आस्क यू द फेमस ब्रांड नेम ऑफ को ट्राइमोक्सोजोल बिकॉज दैट मीन्स दिस क्वेश्चन इज अगेन द वेरी फेवरेट क्वेश्चन ऑफ एग्जामिनर्स द ऑप्शन आर सेप्ट्रैन सेप्मैक्स सेट्राइड फेनोसल्फ गेनिसल ऑब्रिल डिबिनाल ऑब्रिल द करेक्ट ऑप्शन इज सेप्ट्रान सेप्मैक्स दीज आर द फेमस ब्रांड्स ऑफ को ट्राइमोक्सोजोल नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज ड्रग कंटेनिंग पायरिमिडीन रिंग इज डैश नाव ऑप्शन आर सेल्फा मिथॉक्सोल सेल्फा डायजीन सेल्फा डायजीन अगेन इट हेज गॉट रिपीटेड हियर देन सेल्फा मेथॉक्सिन सो द करेक्ट आंसर इज पायरिमिडीन रिंग कंटेनिंग सेल्फोनामाइड इज सेल्फा डायजीन सेल्फा डायजीन कंटेन्स पायरिमिडीन रिंग एट एन वन पोजिशन ऑफ सेल्फानिलाइड मॉइटी next question is cyplin is the brand name of which of the following drug the options are diaz sulfa diazine cotrimoxazole sulfa guanidine sulfa cetamide the correct answer is it is cotrimoxazole cyplin contains cotrimoxazole in it cyplin is the brand which is uh, known by the common name cyplin in the market and its content is cotrimoxazole and manufacturer is cipla next question is succinyl sulfathiazole is dash whether it is a short acting medium acting long acting or ultra long acting sulfonamide the correct answer is it is a short acting sulfonamide from the classification of sulfonamides which we have studied in earlier detail in detail earlier video in detail the classification of sulfonamides then next question is iu pack of sulfa methoxazole methoxazole uh, if you will recollect the structure methoxazole contains isoxazole ring in it so for the detail explanation of the iu pack of sulfa methoxazole or any of the iu packs you can refer to the link given in the description box in that video uh, of sulfa methoxazole the detail explanation about the iu pack is being given so according to the iu pack sulfa methoxazole methoxazole contains isoxazole ring and meth is methyl so methyl and isoxazole we are supposed to search now here it is methyl isoxazole methyl isoxazole methyl isoxazole methyl isoxazole but now all four probabilities are there but how we can reduce the probabilities further now see Uh, suffix is sulfonamide 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 that means these three probabilities have been reduced remaining is sulfanilamide and the positions you are supposed to see now this isoxazole heterocycle which is attached on the sulfanilamide moiety at n1 position is attached at the third position and at the fifth position of isoxazole ring there is a presence of methyl so it is known as sulfa methoxazole so the correct answer is n1 that means it is a n1 substituted sulfonamide 5 methyl 3 isoxazolyl sulfanilamide iu pack name of sulfa cetamide is the options are n1 so again n1 it is n1 all four are n1 only since it's a n1 derivative now sulfa cetamide sulfa cetamide contains acetyl group so acetyl here it is pyrimidineal thiol amidino so this is acetyl so the correct answer is it is presence of acetyl group on sulfanilamide moiety at n1 position next question is dash is the moiety present in the sulfonamides the moiety present in the sulfonamides options are acridine sulfanilamide sulfamoyl none of them 
द मॉयटी विच इज प्रेजेंट इन सल्फोनामाइड इज सल्फानिलाइड बिकॉज अकॉर्डिंग टू द आयुपैक द सफिक्स ऑफ आयुपैक नॉमेन क्लेचर ऑफ सल्फोनामाइड द सफिक्स सल्फानिलाइड इज टू बी यूज सो सल्फानिलाइड दे आर डिराइव फ्रॉम दिस सल्फानिलाइड पेरेंट मॉयटी नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज सल्फोनामाइड्स आर ऑल्सो नोन एज डैश सल्फा ड्रग्स अल्फा ड्रग्स सल्फानिलाइड और बीटा ड्रग्स The correct answer is you all might be knowing that it is sulfa drugs. Sulfonamides are also called as sulfa drugs. Next question is in PABA carboxylic acid is replaced with dash. In para amino benzoic acid the carboxylic acid which is present at para position is replaced with dash to produce sulfanilamide. That means from PABA we are supposed to derive sulfanilamide. so which group is supposed to be replaced carboxylic acid is supposed to be replaced then with then then with which group it is supposed to be replaced whether it is sulfanilamide whether it is sulfamoyl whether it is amine or whether it is amide the correct answer is sulfamoyl moiety so sulfamoyl moiety that is so2 nh when it will come and attach at the place of carboxylic acid it will form sulfanilamide With this we finish with the MCQs of sulfonamide part 1 thank you